Six Sigma is a set of technique tools for a process improvement. It introduced by American engineer Bill Smith while working in the Motorola 1999. Okay, it helps to uh, get the 99.99% uh, opportunities and you know reduce the uh, defects. Perfect. So hi, my name is Vinod. Uh, I am your host today in this series. We are going to cover Six Sigma Phase DMAC. Okay, so DMAC, what it is, is uh, DMAC, you know, what is the meaning of DMAC and why we are using the DMAC and why I am you know, adding this particular video in this Discover Talent. Okay, so the Six Sigma certification is a very uh, pronounced certification and very useful certification, I would suggest. Okay, and uh, you can search the use of the Six Sigma certification on Wiki as well. I have just, just now showed you, right, to the Wiki, the meaning of Six Sigma. This will help you to not make a defect free environment, uh, maybe wherever you are currently working with, or maybe whatever small scale, large scale industries, right? So, this will help you to you know be a Six Sigma uh, there and as per tools, you can you know uh, keep defect free environment. Correct. So in this series, we are going to cover the method called DMAC. So DMAC is nothing but you are define, measure, analyze, improve and the control. OK, we'll go one by one. And uh, in this series, I'm just only covering the DMAC uh, upcoming series. I'll uh, if you like this video. OK, and if you want me to create more videos like this. OK, so I'm going to cover overview. Uh, again, the overview start. I will start with the five S's, seven vestiges, okay, Kaizen procedure, visual workplaces, voice of customer, value streaming mapping. So, what it is, okay, I'll cover this up in the upcoming series. But uh, prior to that, I wanted to know gauge your uh, likeness, dislikeness, okay, as per this video series. So, you know, I can accordingly create the upcoming videos. So, what is the meaning of uh, D? So, I'll just add one liner over here so we'll quickly get you know uh, explanation part and we'll start with the learning d for define your define is there and then define means so you are suppose you are currently working with this small scale industry okay where you can see the majority of problems okay which are you have some deliverables with your client okay that uh, so and so uh, if you are meeting the target then you will get the so and so revenue okay if not and there are multiple issues in your processes so what you need to do you need to define those uh, problems okay when you define those problems you need to come up with the solution first Okay, you have this particular problems and you need to you know uh, come up with the solutions and uh, when you define those problems and you need to know work with the different different stakeholders, right? If you have a BI team separate, okay, you have a finance team separate, you have the you know working professionals or maybe analysts or maybe associates who are you not know, ground on ground, you know, who are working with it. So as a you uh, Six Sigma associate or maybe certified person you know uh, you can go there and you know you can take the opinions and you know understand the problems and you, know, you can define in the uh, that particular parameter that is called define okay now we'll go to the second step called measure okay you have this uh, define uh, category in place right uh, where you have added the defined uh, whatever you have problems right the, but you need to know map those as is process and measure the current performances so what is the current performance right so based on that you need to measure that that is your measure c then you come to the third phase which is called analyze very important very very important okay so basically uh, why the issue is happened okay the previous historical okay and the current or maybe upcoming we can say right so we need to have this information in place and analysis the gap between the current and desired performance and prioritize the problem the identity identify okay basically the meaning over here is you need to prioritize this particular problems and if not you need to identify the root causes okay if so and so thing is not happening so what is the issue behind it you need to understand that okay and again i'm reiterating this thing again uh, you are the six sigma certified or maybe you know bi team uh, who is you know driving this initiative across that particular deal okay he need to ensure that you know he is aligned with the entire team 
from top senior leadership to bottom uh, associates okay i would personally recommend you know on a weekly or maybe daily you know set up one some call okay to understand the issues where are we lagging behind it and you know jot it down somewhere and work on this particular problem so now i improvement right uh, improvement basically your fourth stage we would say i and then your improve so improve so what is the meaning of improve so basically it generates the improvement solution for fix the problems but yes uh, you need to ensure that when we are you know using this dmac uh, methodology you know in our business problems is okay ensure that you know those particular problems will not occur in future so on that particular parameter you need to first think that okay and based on that you need to come up with the improvement solution yeah now last but not the least very important control mechanism c for control correct ensure that the improvement is continuous okay so whatever uh, your improvement stage you have added you have added the analyze you have added the measure and you have added the define segment right and it's the uh, you need to ensure that you know the improvement is the continuous basically and there are have some control mechanism okay uh, suppose so uh, suppose you have some example right uh, we are ordering some tea and it's in a hot right so there add some qa needs to be there right he needs to be have some quality uh, you know prior to delivery to the uh, customer right so some sort of you know example i'm just giving you and this dmac will uh, majorly cover in lss yb so what is that lss y b so it is called lean six sigma yellow belt okay so this is a uh, cover under uh, in your lean six sigma certification when you do a certification when you apply for the certificate certifications right uh, outside or maybe you search on the more and more on google as well right you will get some certification that time you can see this methodology you will get covered on that part again this is just an overview for you uh, folks okay if you want me to create more videos like this for you okay free of cost so ensure that you know you are subscribing my channel okay and you are motivating me so you know this will help me to create a more videos like this